It only weighs about 200 grams, but this small box detects when vandals are tampering with electricity meters. This is the Kamata device, and these two are the brains behind it. It sits next to the meter that's in between the circuit breaker and the meter. It sits right in between, so it's able to monitor what's happening around the meter. So once someone has opened the casing where the meter is, it is able to communicate to the utility. And at that point, it actually disconnects power from that customer. Both electrical engineering graduates, Edmond Ayjuka and Ibrahim Mutebi, started the idea as a school project. At Uganda's Makere University, the two cosmates put what they'd learned in textbooks to use. We are now past prototyping, we are past proof of concept, and we are in production. And then we hope to roll out through this country, Uganda, or throughout through East Africa, and then Sub-Saharan Africa, and even outside Africa, really, because this is a global challenge. In 2011, Uganda introduced prepaid meters for electricity. This was to help reduce electricity thefts, but more than five years later, the problem still persists. The innovators of Kamata are already working with Umeme, Uganda's main power utility. This with a background that Uganda loses more than 15% of its distributed electricity to illegal power connections. And it's challenging, as indicated by the minister, this impacts the quality of service we provide you because people are tampering with our network steel power and therefore they cause outages to our communities. Secondly, it also impacts on pricing of electricity, right? Uh, the higher the losses, there is a tendency that prices will be high. Kamata's initial capacity is to police domestic electricity consumption using one device per meter. But the team is improving the concept so that a single device can monitor several meters and also expand to guard against theft at industrial level. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN, in Kampala.